There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, boron, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bismuth, chromium, lithium, beryllium, and barium. Welcome to the ethylene and addition polymer chapter introduction video. In this video, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to give you a quick overview of what kind of videos you can find below this video in the playlist. Overall, there's 10 videos which cover content because there's 10 the syllabus dot points for this chapter. And then there is a couple of videos which are covering past HSC exam questions and also scientific terms and summaries. So first, we've got to cover the actual content videos. So we've got 10 content videos because we've got 10 syllabus dot points. And there you can see the different colors. They're different colors because different colors means uh, different things. The red ones are your content videos. Which just cover your syllabus content dot points. Your green ones are your second hand investigations. Second hand, so these are your experiments specifically. And then your blue ones are your excuse, wrong way around. Green ones are your first hand, which means your experiments, and your blue ones are your second hand, which means you the things you would have analyzed, sources, different sources to get information for second hand investigations. Uh, so when it comes to these dot points, they all have verbs. I'm going to quickly go over all the verbs of these different dot points and then explain why you need to focus or need to know what the verbs mean and, and what that could mean for you in terms of your exam. So first one, we've got the verb construct here. We have identify for the second. We have identify for the third. And that's it, it yeah. We've got identify and compare for the fourth. So two verbs for the fourth. We have identify for the fifth. We have identify for the sixth and explain, identify and explain. We have outline the steps of production for the seventh. We have identify for the eighth. We have model, the verb model for the nine, and describe for number 10. So these verbs, I've explained them in each video as well, but the reason why I need to know this is because your actual HC exam, the people who make your HC exams, will only be able to use your syllabus dot points, and specifically whatever verb they ask you to make your questions in your exams. So for example, if we have, for number seven, we have outline the steps of production of polyethylene, so if it says all in the steps of production of, of polyethylene, it, you can't be get a, you can't get a question which says explain or evaluate because it gives you outline as a verb. And so you need to, you need to know what these verbs mean. We also have some multiple choice question videos. This is one video which covers past HSC multiple choice questions. We have five videos for past HSC exam questions from 2001 to 2011. So these past five past HC exam questions cover the ethylene addition polymer chapter. We also have a scientific term video. So this video just covers all the terms which were introduced in the, so the different words, scientific words which were introduced in the syllabus dot points and also in the videos themselves. And we have one summer video which is usually between 10 and 20 minutes long. And that gives you a really quick overview of just yeah, the content in each of these dot points. And also, if you haven't watched the first video of this playlist, I would recommend that. It's the introduction to the production of material uh, chapter video. Uh, if you have any questions, any comments, any feedback, just leave them in the comments box below your videos. And I hope you find the videos themselves useful. Thank you for watching.